This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review. And today, this guy, which, okay, the only real justification I can say why I bought Wheelie is because he's voiced by Frank Welker. That's about it. I don't like Wheelie, uh, but I do want to have a complete movie lineup which is, uh, or season three lineup, and it's coming along great. And Willie is, I hate saying it, but he's a must, because he was important in the movie. If if he we didn't show up, the Dinobot wouldn't have found Cup and uh, Hot Rod, and they wouldn't have known that the big tower in, in, in the distance was a ship, and so yeah, I have Willie. And then in season three, he was just there. Yeah, but Frank Welker, that's awesome. Check out my uh, voice acting spotlight on him. Actually, it's a two-parter because uh, that was a special I did for uh, Luke Forza, uh, the son of Mark uh, Cosplay, uh, fellow uh, YouTuber and uh, uh, chat, uh, fa you know, chatter in uh, in live stream and stuff. So, great guy, great pictures. Uh, check out his Instagram. And uh, yeah, before I do the review on Wheelie, uh, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, where I got this figure. And at the end of the video, you get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. All right, let's start with this uh, little guy. Studio series packaging, standard. You know, there's a rubber on his slingshot. There's none on the accessory. Product shot, you know, fairly standard box. Instruction, as standard as they come. You know, not many steps to transform him. 12, you know, looking good. Uh, the stupid slingshot. I'm kind of tired of seeing him with this all the time. I mean, didn't he use anything else in the series? Well, I guess this is the you know, movie version, so makes sense. Kind of looks like a uh, flux capacitor. Anyway, and then you have Wheelie himself. He looks the part. I mean, you can't deny that. Uh, the size is good. Uh, the colors are good. Like the. I don't even know what this is, like tan, I guess, and then you have the orange all around, silver hands, gray foot, feet, looks good, and then the, the blue of the window in the back, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's nicely done, honestly, it's way better than what we got with uh, Grimlock, that's for sure, and he's nicely articulated, the head goes 360, up and down, well, back and forth, uh, no attitude. Very swill, no problem. Gets the um, 90 degree. I guess 90 rotation to no nothing at the hand. And uh, all right, hold on. Uh, well, they can go like this. Uh, the he can almost do the Johnny Cage. Well, of course, kick forward, no problem. Uh, kick back, I think it might be more complicated because of the kibble. So there you go. Like this. 90 degree band, no problem. Uh, toe tilt because of transformation, I'm guessing. I haven't transformed him yet, actually. And But there's no ankle rocker. And then with his... And it's hard, it's so tiny. And there you go. You can have him with his slingshot. So, he looks the part, can't deny that, although he was annoying, and that will be our French word of the day, fetzkin, which means annoying, because he was annoying. Oh, no! 
And now let's do some size comparison with Chip Chase and his wheelchair from the KO Masterpiece Sunstreaker, Studio Series 86 Grimlock, and Studio Series 86 Blur. And now for transformation. There you go. Nice vehicle mode. I mean, it wasn't prominently featured in the show or the movie. I wish. <laughs> That's an eyesore, I just noticed. The wheel here, you know, you have like the pin hubcap. Here, it's a freaking mushroom peg or something like that. Yeah, from the inside you can see it. Just a little mushroom peg. Man, that's... Just do the same thing on each side. That's so annoying. I mean, you did it with Ironhide. Anyway, so you have the end sticking out. It looks terrible. I like the color on the window. Like, that's really good. Uh, nice Autobot logo, nice paint, the front end looks really clean, the back end looks like crap. Uh, underneath, well, it cleans up fairly nicely, and it rolls fine, so it's not a bad deal. I mean, for the price, this is a good figure. I have to say it might be the best wheelie we got for, you know, mainline release. And I'm saying that keeping in mind that this is the movie version. I mean, I know there's been other wheelies that, uh, that have been more stylized that are probably better, but... This is movie accurate enough. All right, let's do some size comparison from Cybertronian mode to the other, maybe. So let's start with Siege Nova Storm, Buzzwordy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee, and G1 Cliff Jumper. You know, this wheelie is a little bigger than the original Minibots, so looks good. And now let's put him back in robot mode to do the final thoughts. <laughs> So in the end, what do I think? I think it's a fair representation of Wheelie. I mean, it's not the greatest figure. We've had better core classes uh, like uh, the uh, Pretenders, Bombers, Iguanas. Look, you know, they are way better engineered than this. Uh, but, uh, you know, if it's Wheelie's kind of OK, you know, there's a good weight. You know, there's enough enough plastic to be a core class. And he has his little slingshot and, you know, it's pretty neat. So I'm, I'm not disappointed with this purchase, uh, which I got from DJC. It's really good. Uh, it's, you know, it's the core class, I'm, actually I bought a lot more core class figures than I thought I would. Uh, they're, they're pretty fun and I bought some for my kid. Some of them he's able to transform, some others a little more complicated, but uh, you know, he's five and he's getting there. You gotta train them really young. So there you go guys, that's my review of Studio Series 86 core class wheelie. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.